Hi, it's DeWire, gamblersadvisory.com, DeWireSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, DeWire Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. <clears throat> Are you ready for some football? Today is September the 4th, 2013. The play I like in tomorrow's game. The Baltimore Ravens at the Denver Broncos is the over 48 and a half points. You should get that at a minus 110. Understand there have been some developments. First, Denver's defense has taken some huge hits. Vaughn Miller has been suspended for the first six games of the year. Elvis Doomerville is no longer a Denver Bronco. He's now a Baltimore Raven. You can imagine, without Miller and Doomerville, the pass rush has been severely impacted on the Denver Broncos. More importantly, if you recall from their playoff game just last season, Torrey Smith owns Champ Bailey. Torrey Smith had a couple of touchdowns against Champ Bailey. Bailey just didn't look like he could stick Torrey Smith. Well, now Champ Bailey actually has a foot injury that had him walking around in a boot for two weeks. Just assume that Bailey is not 100% if he plays. If he doesn't play, Denver's in for a whole lot of trouble because understand that um, Champ Bailey is really a man-on-man -man defender. The way the Denver defense is set up, Champ Bailey has a great deal of responsibility in that secondary. Without Champ Bailey, that secondary is not going to be as effective. right? Let me uh, also point out, too, that Denver has some other issues. right? Denver has an undrafted free agent who's actually starting at safety. You have to view the Denver secondary at this point in the season with suspicion. The guys are just getting to know each other. Also, Denver's linebacking core has taken a further hit. In addition to Von Miller being out, understand Stuart Bradley is out for the year. Now they're playing a Baltimore team that not only has Ray Rice running the football, but has a pro bowler, Vonta Leach, in front of Ray Rice. You can imagine how they're going to do against a reconfigured Denver Bronco linebacking core. Now, understand, Denver's offense is gifted, right? I understand the running back situation is a little bit unsettled. They have a rookie back there, Monty Ball. They have uninspired guys like Noshawn Moreno and Ronnie Hillman running the football. But let's get real. Demarius Thomas, the wide receiver, and Eric Decker, the wide receiver, both had 1,000 yards last year, right? Much more than 1,000 yards, actually. They're adding Wes Walker to that mix. Of course, the quarterback is Peyton Manning, and who are they going up against? They're going up against a Baltimore Raven secondary that has Ladarius Webb coming back from major surgery. We don't know how he's going to be. It also has newcomer Michael Huff replacing Ed Reed, right? So I don't think Baltimore is going to be able to appreciably slow down the Denver Bronco passing attack. Let's remember, too, Denver is playing at home. They're ready. This is the team that knocked them out of the playoffs. Also, think about it. You give Peyton Manning more time, and he's going to be able to do more things Unfortunately, that's what Baltimore is going to end up doing. Because even though they add Doomerville, they actually are without defensive and Arthur Jones for this game. So I'm expecting an offensive shootout. I'm expecting the over 48 and a half points at a healthy minus 110. Keep us in mind for future plays. Thank you for stopping by.